Good afternoon and welcome to the encampment of the 135th Regiment, the only regiment that was local to Goldsboro, North Carolina. This project came about as a result of a presentation that I did on the United States Colored Troops and I mentioned the 135th and my friend Amy Bauer and husband Jay Bauer decided to specifically focus on that particular regiment since it was native to Goldsboro, North Carolina. It was about 153 years ago this week that they marched out of Goldsboro in pursuit of Johnston's troops. Uh, and here we are 153 years later returning to this spot to honor their memory and to work with the reenactors to give people an idea of what life was really like in the Civil War. About three years ago, my husband and I attended a presentation that um, it was a soldier in the 14th Artillery, and I fell in love with the story. I loved it. I told the presenter that, oh my gosh, this is fabulous, and I think I actually scared her because I was so enthusiastic. And then I was talking to someone else, and they said that um, we had a regiment that was formed here in Goldsboro in 1865 and nobody knew anything about it. So I said, well, we'll do it. We'll find it. That'll be fun. And off we went. We started with 117 names, then discovered that we had 1154. And then we went to Washington to pull some pension records after I'd done the genealogy on all 117. And then it bloomed from there. <laughs> Then I read every book I could get my hands on about Sherman's March and what happened and talked to many scholars. It took almost a year and a half to get the scholars to pay attention because it was lost in time. They were given their uniforms and when they left Goldsboro, they marched shoulder to shoulder with their blue uniforms and their brass buttons. And then they proceeded to follow Johnston until he surrendered and then they they walked all the way, or marched all the way, to Washington, D.C. and down Pennsylvania Avenue, two miles, 170 feet wide, 10 thick with people watching, the bands playing, and past the President of the United States. This is an amazing story. You know, several months ago they were slaves, and now they're not only freedom seekers, but they're walking past and saluting the President of the United States. Great story.